Hey everybody, this is Rhino and we're back to Battle Chef Brigade Deluxe. We're back at the main menu here. And I guess it is a deluxe version, so I guess I'm, I'm going to assume that the deluxe version probably was a free upgrade for most people. Or people who actually bought this game and got it for free. Uh, may have had to bought the upgrade, but I'm not even sure if I believe that. It seems like there's a daily cook-off and some challenges that were probably added in the deluxe version. I doubt multiplayer was added in the deluxe version, but maybe. Um, there is something, once again, I'm not showing the intro. and We haven't unlocked anything in the gallery. Uh, but the intro does show basically every character we've seen in the game so far. So... I do have this concern that there's maybe not so much game left or at least not so many more characters left it, it may very well be that we end up just fighting the same people over and over again and then there's this nebulous amount of 40 plus other competitors that will never be mentioned and will just be eliminated and everybody we challenge will end up in the next tournament because I think this is just the proving tournament, which maybe gets you in the Battle Chef Brigade, but then it, there almost certainly is a secondary tournament after that, but I wouldn't be surprised if there's actually only two tournaments. Hey, what you reading? We're still very much getting just a day-to-day -day experience with not a ton of variety. Uh, the only thing that really is changing is who we challenge and what rewards we get based on who we challenge and we may actually be getting all the rewards no matter who we challenge because other characters if you talk to them give you give you rewards also it, this feels kind of like a schedule managing visual novel without there being an actual story that's interesting enough here um, this game definitely feels like it wants to be all about the story and all about that visual novel experience which it, like many Kickstarter games, then makes it kind of like feel like this was a little bit of a misrepresentation in what it was selling itself as. What this really doesn't feel like is a game that is all about cooking or food or fantasy food or a puzzle matching mini game because it, there's just so much stuff that happens in between it. And I would have probably preferred to just walk out of the bedroom. Um, and maybe eventually we'll get to that point where we just walk out of the bedroom and we immediately challenge somebody and we are done. But I doubt it because we'll always have to have the puzzles and the hunts and the restaurant mini games also. Oh, I'm just perusing the new expertise tome I bought from Louie and Louie. Hmm. So this girl's clearly a bookworm. Expertise? Hmm. Yes, it's the study of a particular esoteric cooking style or technique. Esoteric being a really big word. Um, so I think we were forced into this conversation because I think they're going to try and have us learn some new techniques and expand the gameplay mechanic a little bit. But I don't know how much you can really expand the gameplay. The, the thing that's not happening is... We're not running into different animals and creatures and, and different places to hunt. Which that seems weird. Because it, it kind of feels like we may have to get all the way to the next act uh, of what may only be a two act story before we could even get to a different area. You should really take a look hmm. into some. Judges award bonuses for demonstrating the use of expertises. Oh, so now you can get bonuses. Here, you can have one of mine. I've got the contents of that tome committed to memory. It's funny that they're being labeled, they're being written as tomes, because to me a tome is usually something on, like, a, like, carved into a stone, not a book. Huh. Apprentice Expertise Butcher, Waste Not Want Night, plus Expertise Bonus Serve, a dish containing all ingredients from your matches, Theme monster. Well, that would have helped in the previous fight. Wow, thanks, Kieran. Mm. You're welcome. If you don't mind, though, I have to get back to studying. But I bet what this is 
more than anything is something that you have to equip interesting yeah so in the, instead of using double the number of blue ingredients now I would have to uh, switch this out and I suspect we're going to do a green because it was fire before in the previous fight and it was uh, and it was uh, water after so that's a smart move but also it does kind of feel like with your loadouts there's not going to be a ton of changes these combat upgrades will happen and I imagine at some point we'll get something that's like plus three health and plus three mana and that'll be about the best item you can get and you probably won't even be able to get three copies of that so uh, we may get up to like plus three satchel slots but how fast we're getting a lot of these items also shows a indication that the game is probably not that long and I would think ideally in a cooking game you would get books that would be like recipe books um, that you, you would have like your own personal recipe book that you filled out somewhere in like a menu here that's not ex existing uh, when she hands you a book that would teach you like an expertise or something like that that you would think that would be something that would just increase an RPG element and you would just read it not something that you would have to equip um, so yeah that, that's not really where I how I do that this one's about the brigade the three branches of the brigade are research military and ambassador and so it seems like you can once a day read that curious never noticed this ball before does it keep her have a pet or may I be of service? hmm and see we really can just jump through all of this and it seems like we can challenge to start with hmm Tell me, girl, what about an old pipe dwarf, dwarf smoking his pipe in the stairwell and makes him want, makes you want to bother him? Sorry for an interruption, see you around. Wait. Granite to garnets. Sorry. It's a dwarven saying. It's between good luck and see you, but not so frivolous. Ah oh, well, thank you very much. Mm -hmm. So, him being a dwarf in the next fight being a earth fight it probably would be very bad to choose him it would probably be taking the most difficult challenge what's the issue hmm oh getting the essence is out of dishes is getting more complicated the further down my list i go well let's try our best so this guy is just uh this guy's gonna just introduce more things. I don't suppose you've used these fancy sauces much before, have you? Well, no, my family's menu has a very straightforward style. Not to worry, saucing a dish just changes the flavor on of the topmost taste gems it lands on. Sauce is perfect when you get too many of the wrong taste gems. Wow, sounds really useful. Yeah, that definitely does seem like something that would be useful. So if I'm supposed to put the watery sauce on this, that increases it. Okay. And then... Um... Hmm. Well, let's, let's reset that. Okay, so what am I supposed to do? Am I supposed to move this over here and then go to the pantry and add this? No. 
Hmm. Um. The watery sauce. Maybe it changes? Oh, it changes them. Interesting. Well, that goes to show I've totally wasted the watery sauce before. Next, just to get a goal of 50. Okay. So, if we have, for instance, this sauce. Hmm. I don't think we're supposed to do that first. And that's eggs. Eggs having a watery sauce. Interesting. Earthen sauce. So, am I supposed to do something like this? And then stir this like that. And stir that like that. Hmm. Well, that definitely is getting complicated. And I imagine what one will want to do is start with something like that. And see, I always had this thought that there should be a way to match four. I'm not sure there really is a way to do that. We've got two reds and a green. And I think we more than likely want to protect this green. So, is it the two blues that we're going to change? We have one that would turn something to red, and that we have something that would turn something to red and blue. Okay, so Th this is going to, these puzzles really can't integrate into the full game. There there's just no way this is, you're going to have time to do this, and I just don't feel like most players are going to have in their mentality that that level of quick thinking even if there was just a ton of puzzles here that that's the problem with a lot of these puzzle games in pr particular is that they are just designed to go on forever and designed for people to become experts in games that aren't actually interesting enough that you would want to become an expert in it uh, if this were a cell phone game and it was giving you a daily puzzle, maybe there would be a little bit more interest there, but uh, I don't think so. Um, so, I, I do feel like... Watch yourself, girl. Hmm. Otsu is missing and he's very crafty. Who's Otsu? Yeah. Yeah. That there is often this case where game developers spend four years developing their game and they get so good at their game that they they lose the plot and they don't just have new people playing the game uh, almost constantly to give back the feedback of what the experience really would be like for somebody who's just never seen the game before and so they just get more difficult and more difficult and more difficult and, and that will get you in some rare successes a game like super meat boy uh, but in many cases, it will just get you the many, many ripoffs of Super Meat Boy uh, frustration platformers out there on Steam, where they're just too difficult and they're just not polished enough that anybody would really want to play them. Not to mention deadly. Hmm. So OC is apparently a snake, which that opens up a weird door here, where there are snake-like creatures. In the same way that we've seen bird-like creatures that lay eggs. And 
uh, piranhas, which look like pitcher plants, not piranha plants at all. Uh, they've mistranslated that. Um, uh, but then when you look at the skins and the other skeletons in this background, there's a lot of uh, cryptozoology, I guess would be the right term. Fictional animals. Well, now we may begin. If you're going to start cooking with like small uh, reptiles and insects, potentially, I don't think people would want that. Although that definitely does happen around the world. There's people that eat insects and spiders and all kinds of things. Um, but this being a western game, I think they'd probably stay far away from that. Um, a good hunter is always in tune with this ecosystem. There is also, I guess, a point here that all of the creatures probably do need to be relatively large so that they give you a large yield. It would be very silly to have some kind of, like, cricket farm to make cricket flour from. Um, or even, like, a rice farm to grow rice from, because that would just take too much time and too much yield. They would have to introduce some kind of magical systems or uh, places on the ground where you could get uh, more vegetables and plants instead of this being a heavily designed around proteins and, and meat sources uh, cooking game. Like this, once again, it's not a game for vegetarians or vegans. You must be prepared both to nurture it and benefit from it. Hunt a beast and I'll show you what I mean. Gather the ingredient from a squeak hole. Right. There is a decent amount of square footage here where there could be something growing. Passable. Drop the ingredient at your feet. Okay, I didn't drop at my feet. Now, the beta set. We will wait for a cheap cheat to arrive. Remember that you can drop ingredients you don't want during matches. So, a cheap cheat eats it. After the cheap cheap has been fed, they will lay an egg. Eggs are naturally a natural high value ingredient. They can be turned into sauce with an attack. Instructor. Eggs are my favorite food. I know how to. Did I ask for your commentary? No instructor. So she lays an egg and then we just grab it. But see, when you get an egg, you just get like, um, you just get like blue essence there. So I'm not sure. I get, I'm not sure there's a super smart move there. This world has become very full of creatures. Hmm. We're supposed to gather three eggs. While we're waiting for that, we can run over here and see if there's anything extra. There's the egg. But each egg is just How was that, instructor? just a blue essence, so it doesn't feel like there's a balancing factor here. It feels like the right way to have done this would have been to have a like blue bird, a red bird, and a green bird, and the blue birds would lay eggs that give you blue essence, and the green birds would give you eggs that lay give you green essence and red birds would give you eggs that give you red essence uh, and then that would be kind of like an EV type variations of these animals to compare it to Pokemon hmm. Your form needs work. I don't know what that means at all because it seems like that was just criticism that was written as characterization of the character of the instructor and not actual feedback for for me unless there was actually some kind of mechanism there that said yeah my form needs work and the fact that I took too long or that I did not land every blow or land a blow for every time I press the attack button hey. 
Hmm. So, the, we're going to just listen in to these other two talking. And once again, we're using a pose where the main character is facing away from the camera. Hmm. Hmm. He has a sword that talks to him. Yeah. What what kind of story is this? Like, wh why do we need a story that uses a spiritual link from his right of elements? Uh, nobody should be able to hear him talking. And his sword's talking to him. What should be and what is is generally two different things thrashing. In fact, I can hear Paole right now. He says... 404 text not found. Ha ha ha. Why why an internet joke? Like why why an internet joke right now? Like what has that got to do with anything? This is a world that clearly does not benefit from having the internet. Maybe it's because I'm not around here, but I can barely understand the half the stuff Ziggy says. Like, that's just ridiculous. And I guess I could go practice. But what's the point of practicing? Even... Reporting for duty. Hmm. They're having her basically say her name out loud so you remember Point her attack. full name. I've got a new tale ready hmm. for you once you finished your shift. Get to it. And she's gonna tell us more stories for doing things, but do I really even want to hear the stories? <laughs> Hmm. Oh wow, that looks great. Hmm, that's not how I intended Thank to do you. that, but okay. Let's see. I'm screwing this up pretty badly. Let's see. Alright, let's get away from that one. And do this. Come on. This needs to be over here. And this won't rotate on its own. And this won't rotate on its own. So how are you supposed to do this? Well, you can just screw this up so badly. You, you really can. Uh, more than the other ones. Let's see. And going back and trying to solve anything, I don't think can fix it. Hungry. So we have a fail there. We have another fail here. We have like the same puzzles are showing up too. Uh, and that one failed too. So let's just fail that one. Finally, let's get over this potential loss, but that's that was just terrible. Did did I even do well enough to succeed? It gave me eighteen. That they gave me probably the same amount of gold as if I had done really well, I assume. Or at least it gave us maybe a minimum of 15 gold. And if I had done way better there, I may have gotten uh, a slightly more. It, it may be that you're getting only like one gold coin for every meal you actually serve and you get a minimum of 15 and all of this really is just trying to serve, again, the desire of the creators to tell tell you a story. Not even really have a visual novel interaction here. Like, a character telling another character a story can grow character development and, and character uh, relationships somewhat. But to have a character act as your boss just telling you a tale after each uh, mini game session is just going to lead them to being a boring lore giver in PC and it's not interactive so it's not very video gamey 
pointed to the scar on his arm and revealed that it wasn't the mark of a monster, but an enraged opponent. Hmm. Whoa, just because they lost the match? Hmm. Mm -hmm. There's no honor in such an act. So apparently somebody attacked somebody, but we don't even know who. Uh, Whoops. It's later than I realized. Hmm. I've got to get going. I'll see you tomorrow, Pontita. And see, that's not even like a full story that we got told. Did we get short sh short changed on the story because we did so poorly there? Like, this guy may have a bunch of scars on his arms. This guy could have scars. This guy could have scars. This guy could have scars. This, the way this is drawn, they, they all seem to have like bulging veins or muscles or just attempts at accents. And that screen tearing is still a problem. Hmm. How many wins do you have so far? That's none of your business. So she tells you absolutely nothing there. That's useless. I'm gonna just come into the practice and see if anything has changed here. Hmm. It doesn't seem like anything has changed. Hmm. And that's Urzen sauce. Which, there is something I would like to test. So, let's find a four piece. That should be good enough. Thing. That that should work fairly well. Alright. So if I take this and put it here. And then another one and put that let's see here. If I was to add the rainbow stuff it seems like it adds only one rainbow and I'm gonna come back and I'm gonna cook this and I'm going to do this in such a way that these four are here how can we better do that All right, let's see if, see how that works. And then we take the earthen sauce and put this here. That's going to turn everything to green and earth. Which then that turns that into that. Okay. So I understand that concept. That's all I really wanted to figure out. So then it would just come down to who can you challenge and who can you not. We could challenge this guy again. We can challenge this guy again. Hey. Hmm. 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 Yeah, and this is the exact same conversation again. Any news? How are things? We can listen here. Hmm. Hmm. So they're telling you just every day you're going to get something better. So we, what we want is an earthen pot. And I, I guess at a certain point you don't need to purchase an earthen pot again. And in fact, if you look at the um, A button now, it's actually selling it. So it's actually a trick. Um to undo your purchases. Let's see. Hmm. We've just got a whole bunch of stuff. Now throw two knives at once, two daggers. Um serve a dish containing at least one ingredient per monster in the region. Uh let's see. Serve a dish that contains the same ingredients times five. 
Or we could just add a bunch of bone ingredients. See, some of this is temporary. Hmm. And some of this is not temporary. Hmm. So what do we have? We have 78, which means I could buy this. And basically nothing else. And I feel like that is really where this is, is going to be. Is that you are just going to constantly run into... Uh, run into issues of not having quite enough money to buy everything until you hit a point where you you do have enough money to buy everything and that'll be that so i could challenge her which i haven't done i could challenge him or i could run and challenge this guy which i think i've already fought this guy but maybe i haven't but i can't challenge her so she may have been eliminated i could challenge him but i've already fought him so let's let's challenge her because i don't want to challenge this guy on the earthen challenge i'm trying to take the easy mount uh easy path <clears throat> so also we need to swap out that before we make any mistakes and it probably wouldn't hurt to potentially have a second green dish that there has to be some other cookware that appears at some point um that does something either with rainbow gems or bones or something uh to make it a better experience and we'll almost certainly get it in the next day but it does feel like there can only be maybe three more cooking pots unless they just make a whole nother tier of cooking pots and I don't know how you do that because it would be fairly e too easy to have something convert like one green gym into its next tier and even unless it just takes an entire minute to do it it's another glorious day and it seems like this guy common is just going to stand in still but he's gonna have a whole bunch of different outfits much like iron chef um, so they probably overpaid the animator to do a bunch of out outfits but it's not the worst idea if you're parodying iron chef much like the fire in our chef's hearts <clears throat> the spirit of this tournament burns ever brighter <clears throat> This small town ship it really feel, felt like this game would be a lot faster, though. The iron stomach. This this is really really slow. Mina. Kieran has At some point, I'd also like to childhood. also replace her name and not call her the Iron Stomach, or create your own character even. Her unwavering attention to detail earned her the title hmm. the decisive blade from her instructors so she's medicinal we kind of knew that an interesting matchup indeed so we'll it'll be interesting to see how Jared. that works for for her this challenge since Today I kind of know we welcome back ambassador Akebo to the judges platform and we have two people so we may have two different ingredients now are we serving two different dishes to two different people? That would not be really in line of Iron Chef or any cooking uh, show because that'd be really silly. Uh, but they may have different ingredients. Ah, what a fine day for a match. Hmm. I'm anxious to taste today's dishes. Hmm. At the annual fire festival, local food stands make spicy kebabs that are out of this world. Well, if this turns out to be fire and water, then I've really messed up on my planning. I'd like to see the contestants bring that kind of fiery flavor to today's hmm. challenge. Ha -ha. 
The next judge is the famed hmm. Grand Matriarch Asjil. Hmm. With each challenge that passes, these chefs reveal more of themselves through their creations. I look forward to learning more today. I definitely feel like if you had shifted some of the budget away from some of the background art that's drawn, which isn't even drawn particularly well, you might have had more voice acting. On the other hand, you might have might have wanted to shift away from the voice acting, which is less noticeable when it's not there, uh, particularly since it's not 100% voice acted, and had a different artist um, draw the backgrounds, which I would say is probably more of an issue of the artist they chose than how much they paid the artist. This art style just does not work. Some chefs mistake Earth for the most simplistic hmm. energy. But its purity belies subtle complexities. Hmm. Bring me a dish that harnesses its potential. Hmm. In my youth, I refused hmm. to eat this beast's meat out of fear its curse would pass to me. Like our ancestors, I feared what I did. And this is kind of backstory. Luckily, our chefs today are fearless in the face of the unknown. Let's see what they can do with. It would be funny if it turns out that these monsters meet actually are cursed in a way and that like the first king ate the meat and got controlled magically by some monster or somebody controlling the monsters and now they're encouraging the rest of society to do the same like that it would be an interesting sequel to see that there was like a whole different nation that was purely vegan and they attacked this nation because it was under control of a dark influence to liberate it. Verskit. I don't know what Verskit is. Um, okay, so we've got a new creature that looks like their attempt to take a rat and make it not look like a rat. Vive la brigade. All right. So we're doing a verse battle. We do have the ingredients, but look at the table now. It has like four. It has four things. All right. So what else can we get with verse We are in a different area, which is nice. Hmm. Let's see. Okay, so these do just change up. We also have 6 minutes and 25 seconds, which I imagine is here to just specifically give us some time to decide what we want to eat. Hmm. I'm not going to bother to fight this. And we can get bunch of those out of the air. Let's see. Those can only apparently be picked up when they open up, which means there's a particularly high amount of time that they don't, they don't work. Hmm. So do I have enough? Or should I get more verse good? Hmm. Hmm. The, there's kind of a limited amount that comes out at any one time. Alright, well, that's probably as good as we're going to get. So. Can we do Verskit Tail here, and Verskit Tail here, and Verskit Tail here, and Verskit Tail here? Yes. Awesome. Alright, now we take that and we put that 
here and then can we throw in some other things that we're interested in cooking brisket tail more um, we have scrawl beast watery sauce notch and fruit fiery brisket meat all right we also want to throw that in so we'll throw that in is was there a third kind of brisket Cook this. And we'll go ahead and merge those two together. And let's see, what else can we see? Can we throw in here? Are you remembering to breathe, Mina? Hmm. Oops. Alright. Thanks, Kieran. Brisket meat. Brisket meat. Still got plenty of brisket meat. To merge together. Hmm. If I can do this right. Hmm. Right, let's go ahead and take this and cook this here. We'll get the blue out of the way. Hmm. And what do we want to do with this? Throw some more brisket meat in, and can't do too much more. This really could just become a problem, certainly. Hmm, lots of green. Um. What? Oh man, we gotta cook a whole nother dish. We gotta cook a whole nother dish now. A fire. Alright, well. Do that. And. We'll throw in some brisket meat. Just so it's actually included. And then we'll. Do some fiery sauce on that. And then we'll, I guess, throw in some of that too. Like, we've got a minute and 31 to pull this off. This is ridiculous. So you, you just have this like combined score now where um, yeah I I have like a minute to run back here and potentially get more red and that's about all I can do is Brisket tail, brisket, brisket tail. Hmm. Cook this. Get rid of the blues somewhat so we can add more uh -oh. brisket tail. Hmm. And all I'm trying to do at the moment is just get this a little bit higher if I can even get a little bit higher I, I got like seconds seconds ago barely had time so I almost missed Thank the entire you dish the hard work, chefs. let's see what the judges have to say which about your efforts. inherently this makes this game a little too complicated for me because if we're gonna have to cook three dishes and have three dishes going on in our heads and and have to get three different ingredients uh this is literally just emulating what 
a head chef has to do in their head. And personally, I just can't keep that many different things in my head at the same time and move fast and move with this gameplay mechanic. Uh, that's why people go to culinary school. That's why a lot of people wash out of culinary school. So if I win this, I'll be surprised, but I've been shocked every time, so I don't know if the game just cheats. So, Squeakle Tentacle Maki, um, which, yeah, that looks like a type of sushi, with a side of scalp breast and Amarok ribs melong, or melanie. I'm going to pronounce it melanie. Uh, I'd also have to say don't know where she even got Squeakle from. Like, was she going to a completely different world than I was? Um, that doesn't make sense. So she had 109. It's a slow burn, but makes an excellent, makes the fire, fire even more exciting. So that gives her 159. A lovely dish, the flavors come together nicely. So she got 159 for that. And I got wind fruit fried rice with a side of versket meat and fiery sauce assortment. And I got 117 plus 50. I'm tasting the fiery perfection I was looking for, which gave me 50 more. Um, looking at this, I do have more fire dishes than anybody else, uh, than any other gems. Excellent as always, you've come a long way since the beginning of the tournament. So 167, so I'm ahead. The, I wish the scores would stay on screen, but I'm at 167 and Kieran's at 159, so it's still anybody's game. She has knocked the fruit macro macarons, um, which is it's like dessert dishes. And one of the things about cooking in particular is main chefs don't actually cook the desserts there, there's a that's like its own specialty so uh, often you'll see in cooking shows where even long experienced professional chefs can't create desserts that are actually good even Gordon Ramsay is kind of notorious for failing at cooking desserts uh, so uh, I don't know why you would include that as an option I mean, you, you do want to show desserts, but it almost should be its own separate round where all the main cooks are probably going to do pretty badly on it. So we have nachi fruit macarons with a side of fiery sauce and water sauce assortment. I see the verse kit didn't ignite your imagination. You must learn to work with all ingredients. Uh, to hone your skills, even ones you might find basic. So she didn't use the the secret ingredient at all. And I wonder if the game is throwing me a bone here, or if this is always scripted to happen so you can see the penalty that she got for that. Because it does seem like she got a she's going to get a penalty, or she has gotten a penalty from that. Yeah. But then she gets 50. These herbal earthy flavors are exactly what I requested. You can see she managed to fill the whole thing up with a lot of green. Um, a respectable dish. I am pleased with your work. So she got 142. Which gets her over th to 301. So all I have to do is get above a... 144, 134 score. Um, we cooked Verskit Tail Vermicelli, which, yeah, what cooks what? I have no idea. Like, it does seem very random. And it's topped with Verskit meat. Earth is the perfect stabilizer. You have captured it beautifully in this dish. And that got me to 184, which means I've already won, unless I get some kind of penalty. Using the same ingredient too frequently was a risky move, but you, you've you excelled in bringing out its variety. Now that plus 25 probably is from 
my um, from one of those tomes and we'll have to look at the tome to see what it actually says or maybe we just got a bonus for using the same ingredient a lot although that that is in cooking in particular that's a weird thought because uh, it would be fairly silly to have four one ounce filet mignons on one plate for one person but it would be completely reasonable to have one four ounce filet mignon on a plate uh, but also I don't know if anybody would really complain too much if somebody plated four one ounce filet mignons other than perhaps the balance between the uh, the bacon if it is a bacon wrapped filet mignon versus the steak in the middle or the cook in the middle having a one ounce filet mignon would have to be cooked a lot more carefully than a four ounce uh, also I guess if you had like a 20 ounce filet mignon yeah, somehow made that then that would probably be a lot harder to cook also because by the time you caught the middle cooked to a safe temperature you probably have burnt the outside to a crisp and that's why most foods tend to come uh, particularly meats that have to be cooked tend to come in particular sizes well, you managed to expertly combine the flavors in this dish and the clever twists and turns are as compelling as any novel I wonder if I'm gonna get another bonus and does it matter that I'm getting bonuses because these scores kind of just get wiped away if you after you win another stunning hmm. victory for the iron stomach yeah this this really does feel like the game is just cheating for you and you're going to win no matter what it doesn't really feel like a challenge but also, I wouldn't want to be able to hot swap. Well, well, it would be nice if I could come over here and change the difficulty. Um, I don't feel like if I was playing in hard mode that the game would change very much. Um, or that there would be much of a reward for it changing very much. Because I assume if you fail one of these challenges, it's either going to just move the story forward anyways... Or you're going to immediately have to retry it one way or the other. I think this was also the point today was the day where somebody could have gotten eliminated. So I may very well have just eliminated our friend if this was her third loss or fourth loss. No, it was three losses and this is the third day. So in theory, somebody uh, in this tournament would have had to have lost and been eliminated today but i think it is that nebulous group of unseen characters and all the people that we challenge and see will just follow us for the rest of the game 75 point different yeah you can also see how this is not going to have but one more dish there's just not enough room on this final screen for there to be one more dish. Uh, at a certain point it almost makes sense that there would be a sous chef. Uh, uh, an assistant chef. Uh, that you would hire. And you would be able to tell them. Cook this dish. That I've cooked before. And, and the, they just know how you did it before. And then that would be able to. Compound and speed up the process. And I could see. Potentially optimizing a path where you you have a dish that is just perfect all fire essences uh, as as much as possible and then you have your sous chef cook that dish and then you modify that dish for an even higher tier possibility although we don't know if ambrosia is really going to come into play here and how that might change things uh, anything could change anything frankly are more resourceful than you appear. but I like a replicator ability some something that could just do what you've already done even if it takes the same amount of time as it took you to do it would 
let you go out and run around and capture more ingredients and experiment more. So we get another item. May it aid you in your battles ahead. We, we only got one item. So now we have double jump. Cool. And unfortunately for most games, even this game, I think there is an argument that having double jump is really going to be useful. So let's look at our loadout. Plus two health. Yep, forever. Can you not? Hmm. And we can double jump in this whole area. I wouldn't be surprised if Shiv has been eliminated and she just doesn't want to tell you that. It would be nice if you had won some kind of gold for this. Hmm. Hmm. Of course, the problem with having double jump in this area is then you are not really going to be able to do anything with it in this section because there's just so many people that you activate talking with with the A button that, that you have to find the pixels in between the people hmm. and j double jumping here doesn't do anything other than maybe there was an achievement for jumping on the bed yes actually there is an achievement for jumping on the bed but that's about it well, the good news, I will say, is we are only taking an hour this time, where it's been closer to an hour and 20 minutes in each, each day. So maybe this whole thing is going to speed up a little bit. Um, let's see, what was this? Serve a dish can, that contains the same ingredient times five. See, I still don't fully understand what that means. Uh, does that mean if I have a three-tier version of that ingredient? Hmm. No, that this is where I got the bonus from. It was put the exact same ingredient over and over and over again. Um, whereas, I guess if I don't have that equipped, putting the same ingredient, uh, that would be... An issue and I guess the idea here would be I probably shouldn't have both of these enabled if anything I should have in that battle had this and this enabled so what do we even think is happening next time it's probably if I was to guess a regular battle so, probably you're going to have to have all three of these, all three of these. Hopefully, double jump is a good move. But yeah, I bet the next battle is the is going to include all of the ingredients. Um, and they certainly aren't foreshadowing that, where it feels like there should be a foreshadow to that, to, to say, hey, this today you're going to have a secret ingredient that... Uh, requires you to cook for fire essence, earth essence, water essence. Um, there's, I suppose if it's supposed to be like Iron Chef, it's supposed to be a surprise, but for a video game, that's really a, a pain. And I could definitely see having the dwarf character whisper to you secrets and, and cheat for you. Um, and then you could just choose not to listen to him and not to talk to him each day. Um, but video game wise, it would be. A lot smarter to know what what items you need in your loadout because there definitely is going to be a positions here where you can just screw up completely and it's not like you can change your loadout 
um, in the middle of the battles. If the game was more instantaneous like that, that might also be a solution. It's just to let you change your loadout on the fly and uh, adjust everything or let you set your loadout at the beginning of each battle and tell you what uh, after they've introduced what kind of meat you're going to need to attack and, and get and what kind of uh, fi fiery or earth or watery essences you need to cook towards. Yeah, that, that would be much better. Yeah, they should do the presentation where they announce the meat and and the judges and all of that. Then they should jump to the loadout, say pick your loadout then and then press X to continue. Yeah. So, and that would have been a really easy thing to program. Well, regardless, that's going to be it for this recording. As always, I ask you to like, share, subscribe, comment, and watch every second of my videos. If you want a friend to follow me on any social media sites, there's a whole bunch of links down below. And if you want to support me further, there's a link to Patreon, or you can friend me on Steam and gift me a game off my wishlist. Thank you for watching. Have a good evening.